Good morning. It is Friday morning once again, and I'm Scott Cullen, Editor-in-Chief of the Kanata Report, and I'm here with Frank Kanata, our founder. Good morning, Frank. How you doing today, and what's on your mind? Hey, Scott. I'm doing great. Hope you're doing the same. Uh, uh, we, uh, Carol, CJ, and I, uh, last week, uh, were invited to the CDA owner meeting in Cincinnati. And I have to tell you, it was uh, such a positive experience from, in so many ways. Uh, we enjoy all the groups, uh, but this one was special. Uh, I was first invited to address the CDA group in, uh, on October 6, 1982 by Paul Shields. And I brought a copy of the agenda that I had, and I've shared it with uh, Gary Haroff, uh, Advanced Imaging Solutions in Las Vegas, is the president this year, and he got a big kick out of it. He said, oh, he said, this is priceless, right? And he, he was laughing, he was looking at it, and he said, it was only one day. <laughs> and in those days, yes, they weren't looking to spend a lot of time and a lot of money in hotels. They wanted to get in and get out. That's typically the way they, they did things. And I had to reflect looking around the room and then taking a, a look at the agenda and see where this organization has come is amazing. Uh, that plus the fact that because they've been around so long and we've attended so many of these meetings, we know so many so many of the dealers for, for many, many years. In fact, one of them, uh, Brian Amons announced, and I met Brian uh, many, back in the late 80s, I think it was, he was announced his retirement. So I'm even seeing them sail off into retirement. But at any rate, it was, um, it was a very good meeting, not only from the standpoint of the agenda, but I, I think what enabled us to do, and really CJ did it, did a first class presentation on diversification. Now, this is a fairly well established dealer group. Uh, and I didn't know how they would respond to it because those. As a rule, that group is pretty much involved in what's going on and understanding. But what CJ did is he, he did a lot of background research on the economy, things that would affect uh, the change in the channel and where diversification could play a role, and then quoting dealers in each, with each specific application. Uh, and it just went over very well, and uh, uh, CJ received many, many, many fine compliments. And it was so helpful, too, because some of them came up and said they enjoyed it very much, but you left out one thing. <laughs> and that was great to hear what, you know, and I was anxious. And then in, in uh, CJ's presentation, he, he didn't uh, mention VOIP, and we all know how much that has been widely accepted, particularly if you're into IT services uh, in that. But it, it was really, really good. And what I'm also thankful to Gary for, CJ said he wanted to launch our July, August issue while he was there. And the, the reason, as you well know, is the three ladies on the cover who were Liz Sumner, Melissa Confalone, and Chelsea Bodie. Those three ladies all either own or operate dealerships. Now, this is the 10th anniversary issue. If you had told me 10 years ago, we were going to be able to find three women, one who owned the dealership and the other two, Liz Sumner's dad owns it. and She's the managing partner and uh, Melissa Confalone is uh, president for Frazier in, uh, in Pennsylvania. And Bill was excited about making her, Bill Frazier was very excited about making her president. She had been with the company, uh, Frazier AIS for such a long time, always had done a great job. And Bill said it was time for him to step back and let M Melissa take charge. And uh, it, it just went over so well. And uh, 
I would urge everyone, please take a look at that issue and what it means and how it reflects on the changes in our industry. Uh, first class job uh, goes to you, Scott, and Kathy and, and Doreen and the team. You guys did a great job. The issue was fantastic. And I think it was well received uh, uh, by CDA. The other thing that I, I want to, uh, to share with our audience, Gary is very much aware of what, what is going on in the world. And he sees the, you know, the constant attrition of dealers selling that he asked me, what did I think of the idea about having joint meetings with other groups? I said, I think that's a fantastic idea. I said, if you'd like me to, to reach out to the other groups, I'll, I'd be happy to do so. He said, yeah, just gauge what the reaction is. I'd be interested in, in doing it. Um, so we're going to do that. We are going to reach out to the, the groups that we believe will be most receptive uh, and go from there. Uh, and I think it's, it's a very smart idea. The, at this particular meeting, although we can't divulge what information was given, what I, what I can say is who did the presentations. And they had uh, Todd Johnson and John Hay do their thing with, uh, they send a survey out to those that, the groups that want it. Uh, they get the surveys and then compile it and show all the performance parameters for the, in this case, it was 124 dealers responding. It's fantastic information. It really is. Uh, and I, I would encourage all the other dealer, all the other dealer groups to participate. And if those, uh, if any of the uh, members of the uh, different other groups are listening that don't use the, uh, don't use Todd Johnson, John Hay, do it. It's a smart move. That presentation was right on. And I, I spoke to, uh, to Todd and I've spoke, spoken to him before about it. I said, would you mind if I, I ran some numbers by you and uh, you kind of let me know how far apart we are or did we hit it on? And I've done it in the past and he's always said yes. And he's certainly open to it. So I'm looking forward to doing that when we get done with uh, with our thing here. But uh, I can just uh, kind of close this up by saying the, the Cincinnati is not typically a place uh, a CDA group will go. They go to more, more exotic resorts and things like that. But uh, they have a dealer member in that area, Ben Russett, GrowSource, and he encouraged the the members to, to join him in Cincinnati, wanted to give them a tour of the dealership. And uh, he's very proud, particularly of his IT operation. And uh, CJ and I had been there before. It is very, very good and worth, for those that ask some questions about IT, that tour with Ben answered any they might have had. So in all, great meeting, great to be there. And I look forward to the next one.